The Blue Jays went ahead with four runs in the top of the second inning. After a Cliff Johnson single and a double by Jesse Barfield, Ernie Witt singled to left center. Both runners scored to make it 2-0. Then, with one away, third baseman Rance Mullinix doubled the lead, taking a pitch from Dennis Eckersley over the fence in right field. The Jays picked up another run in the third inning when Willie Upshaw's blast cleared the fence in right, just out of the reach of a leaping Dwight Evans. In the top of the fifth, Eckersley left the game when Toronto put runners on second and third. Upshaw greeted relief pitcher Bruce Hurst with a two-run single up the middle, and it was 7-0. Things heated up in the Boston fifth when Dave Steeb hit Jim Rice with a pitch. Rice headed for the mound but was intercepted by catcher Witt. Both benches emptied, but nothing came of it. The Sox got one run back in the sixth inning when Dave Stapleton lofted a Dave Steeb fastball over Fenway Park's famous green monster in left field. But that's as close as they came. Steeb got the win for six innings of work, and Roy Lee Jackson retired the last nine batters to pick up the save in Toronto's 7-1 victory.